Hi, this is Brian with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center and welcome to your weekly Avalanche Outlook. Well, we saw a welcome return of snowfall to start off February. We had a nice little storm system that moved uh, through the state on February 1st and 2nd and this deposited one to five inches of snowfall for most mountain areas. However, as this simulation shows, uh, areas in the southern mountains, particularly the eastern side of the South San Juan forecast zone and in the Sangre de Cristo range, picked up much more than that. Some locations picked up as much as two feet of storm snow, and we already started to see an avalanche cycle. We had a lot of weak snow surfaces prior to this storm event, and we knew they weren't going to be able to take much. The new storm snow is now failing quite easily on top of the old snow surface. And so that's led to an increase in avalanche danger. We have level three or considerable avalanche danger in those areas that received the most snowfall. Elsewhere in the state, you can see we've got large swaths of moderate danger. So we saw less snowfall, but we're still seeing the new storm snow accumulating on weak snow surfaces. So we're seeing avalanches break either as soft, thin slabs, or we're seeing dry, loose avalanches that are running really long distances and then training enough snow to knock somebody off your feet or bury you in the wrong piece of terrain. The most dangerous terrain features are gully features, ravines, steep slopes above cliffs, and trees that might act as really terrible obstacles to run into. So I think it's really important for us to kind of shift our mindset. We've had a few weeks here of generally safe and stable avalanche conditions. It's not a lot of snow in most of the state. However, it did lead to an uptick in avalanche danger in most places. So slopes that have been safe to ride for the last few weeks may no longer be safe. So it's time to kind of rein in our terrain choices and pick more conservative travel options until we can see how this new snow is going to react. The snow that fell on the 1st and 2nd of February is very low density. And so although we don't have any snow in the forecast as we move through this upcoming weekend and into early next week, or just little bits of snow, the snow that just fell in the, on the 1st and 2nd of February is going to drift around and could create fresh slabs on top of very weak snow surfaces. So we want people to rein it in, see how this new snow is reacting, expect avalanches to be very easy to trigger, and the avalanches will be larger and more dangerous in places that got more than about 8 inches of recent storm snow. Please check your avalanche forecast because things have changed a lot from last week. We will uh, slowly stabilize as we move into the early part of next week, but this is going to be a slow process given that the old snow surfaces had very weak snow. Check the forecast at colorado.gov avalanche or on the CAIC mobile app. Stay safe out there and we will see you next week.